Bacterial corneal ulcers, fungal corneal ulcers. Now let me break these two things down for you. Bacterial corneal ulcers have generally symptoms which are more pronounced. With fungal corneal ulcers, the symptoms they tend to be less pronounced. However, in fungal corneal ulcers, there may be a preceding history of trauma with vegetative matter. Now let's look at the signs. For a bacterial corneal ulcer, generally we have a single lesion and the margins are typically well defined. However, with a fungal corneal ulcer, we may have a single lesion, but there are generally multiple lesions. So, there is one large lesion surrounded by smaller lesions called as satellite lesions. The margins of a fungal corneal ulcer are typically described as feathery or fuzzy. Now, if it is an ulcer with a hypopian, then the classical description of the hypopian in a bacterial corneal ulcer is that it is a mobile and sterile hypopian whereas for a fungal corneal ulcer it is a fixed and non-sterile hypopian right so these are the important differences between these two conditions